Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. There's a few changes I've made. I've uh, created a logo. Um, I uh, do a lot of videos online um, and I really appreciate uh, you watching the videos and I appreciate all the comments I get. Uh, I got a comment the other day that was quite funny. The guy said he got pulled over by the cops from, for driving 105 miles an hour and he said, I don't think that's, uh, that's, that's right. He, and the cop says, why not? He says, I've only been driving for 15 minutes. It's all in the timing. So uh, my new uh, logo, Watch My Service, kind of makes sense because I'm always uh, videotaping my uh, watch servicing. So and I've got a little logo with a W and a little MS on the top, watch on the bottom. So that's the new, uh, the new gig. My uh, email's on the top, jdwatchservice at gmail.com. So you can contact me if you're interested in me doing any work for you. Uh, just let me know and we'll, we'll discuss it and negotiate and see if it makes any sense for you. I don't do this uh, for a living. I have a day job. Um, in the aerospace uh, world, and uh, and that brings me into the evenings quite often and the weekends. So uh, this is uh, in my spare time. I, I do this kind of work, and I've been doing it for many years, probably about 10 years now. But very, very intense, as you can see. I've uh, learned how to use lathes. I've learned how to make parts. I've learned how to do all kinds of stuff. So, and I'm always willing to learn more. So if you have any comments uh, for me, um, then uh, please add. You know, please do a, a comment on my technique. Uh, there's a gentleman that uh, that was contacting me from from uh, Florida who's got uh, he said I think 67,000 hours behind the bench and he, he's given me some very good comments so thank you very much I won't mention any names but you know who you are so thanks a lot there's another gentleman that's uh, down in I think North Carolina he's gonna be mad at me if I if I uh, say South Carolina but anyway he's he's uh, he gave me the Elgin or Elgin gotta get it right the Elgin watch that was the 23 jewel to work on and I put those watch repair videos online uh, and he was very very appreciative uh, I was a bit nervous taking that very very nice piece and, sh and and put it in shipping and bring it up and it was very very uh, it made me nervous until I received it and then I had to do a lot of work on that and do a little tiny bit of hairspring work and I had to correct the bead error at the end which was a real challenge but I videotaped it all for you folks out there that are interested in watch repair to, to see that so so I thought that was kind of cool to share that, and, um, and thanks a lot for uh, the gentleman down south. I'm in Canada, so A, 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 I'm in Canada, A. Uh, we try not to say A that much because we know that the Americans and probably the British hear us say A, y'all. Anyway, I'll say folks and y'all, and you'll think I'm American. Anyway, so uh, th those gentlemen have been very good. There's another gentleman in the UK who sent me a uh, 21 Jewel watch for me to to uh, work on and he really wanted the balance uh, staked onto the staff but the staff turned out to be the wrong staff so he and I are uh, chatting about what to do I'll probably end up making a staff for him and uh, I also told him that I don't do this for a living so I won't rob you don't worry about that so so I'm gonna be uh, I, I need to make a staff anyway because I need to make sure my skills are good in staff making it's tricky and but I've done quite a few over the years so so uh, the videos I'm making now also include different views. So now I've got a, uh, a close-up view, as you can see over here on the left-hand side. Um, I've got a Waltham 25 Joule automatic here that I'll be working on and making a video. So I just, I'll leave this as the intro video and you guys can comment and I won't make it a, a one hour long video. Um, so this close-up view is using a high definition camera that's very close to the uh, watch itself. And then up there I've got a um, another camera that's uh, pointing at uh, the overall bench. So this is a Horatech uh, bench that's on my desk. So it's a portable bench. Uh, they'll run you about 550 US. I think I paid a thousand bucks because I got it from the UK, so I wouldn't get nailed at the border uh, with uh, duty. So I got this from the UK. It cost me around a thousand bucks, which is going to take a lot of watches to fix to make up for that. But don't worry, I won't be passing those charges along. Uh, as I said, I still work for a living, but my plan is is to retire someday, and then I'll get into this more more seriously as a uh, as just a hobby that I can make a few bucks on the side with. So, but I love and sh I love sharing my videos. Um, as you can see in the back, that's a Fender Strat. It's a Strat Plus guitar, which is a really nice guitar. It's got uh, lace sensor pickups on it. Um, should I pick that up right now? Uh, it's just a high video anyway, so I'm going to pick that up and show you. So that's a uh, a really nice Fender Strat guitar. It's um, got that in 1990, and I've been playing for years. I actually have some videos on YouTube with me playing guitar. Um, 
And so if you want to watch some of those, you can find them on there. And I've got a couple of amps stacked up and there's, I laid out curtains because behind curtain number one, there's an amplifier. Behind curtain number two, there's lays over that way and, and books further down and stuff like that. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the guitar in the background. So these scenes that you're seeing up here are going to be good because I'll be able to do just a general intro on what I'm doing. Um, so when I start uh, with servicing this Waltham watch, um, I'll make this all about the Waltham and not this introductory video. So, so the second look I can uh, come, come up with here is the general work. So here you see the bench again and then up in the corner you see the, uh, the uh, Waltham watch in the close-up. And then I put my logo on the top so you guys will get used to it and I'll just keep using that logo. Uh, and then if, when I go to close-up work, I can flip over to close-up work and just it just shows the close-up work as I uh, as I proceed um, and that's pretty handy so the lighting is needs to be changed occasionally and then and then the last thing is uh, when I flip over to showing what the watch escapement analyzer and timer might be doing I can flip like that um, disregard these lines these lines are actually from use of a an LED light that I have and if you probably measured the frequency, it would be probably 60 hertz. So when I turn that light off or down, those line, lines end up going away. So if I did this, uh, you'll see there's no more lines, right? So, and if I put a watch under there with a mic, you'll see the, the pulse go. So we'll, we'll do that later. I did a video on that. But, uh, as you can see, there's, and I can use my mouse on that to show you. So there's the mouse running around here. Um, and that gives the rate, uh, the, uh, there you go. So that's the rate and the amplitude and the beat error. And then down here you get the uh, more data on that particular watch. Um, and I've included over in the corner, I'll just go really close to it. Uh, there is the close-up picture. So we've got that in the software too. And if you're interested in, in me describing a bit how this software works with respect to the beat error and everything else, I can do that as well. So I can go from that, I can go back to the close-up view here where where I'm able to uh, show the works. Um, I could flip that watch around and just see what that looks like uh, close up. So I did take the lid off of it, so it should be uh, should be easy to, to actually show you that movement. So so there we go, that's a picture, of the, that's the movement itself. I might have to sometimes adjust the lighting on that because it's uh, a fixed focus camera on that and the lighting might not be great. So I can hit configure video and then hit OK and as we're in the, in the video itself recording I can actually uh, change the brightness like that I can deal with that I can change the contrast like this and I can do some sharpness and actually under camera control I can work with the exposure but if I turn the exposure off I get this and then I have to hop up the exposure just a bit and that whites it out completely so I leave that on auto um, and apply that auto exposure uh, and the brightness also I need to, to deal with that. I can move lights around to do that too and I can zoom in more on that as well. So so that's pretty handy. Um, it allows me to do some adjustments on the fly. Um, and then um, I can go back to the general work here. I turned off my backlight so it's pretty dark in here. So turn that back on again. Uh, and you can see waves coming through the screen and that's that LED light. So as I adjust this light I can also do this. I have another light that I have that I can that I can focus in on and move that closer. Uh, you see the lines, but that's from the camera, so hopefully that won't be too annoying as I try to perfect this whole setup, uh, so it's a little bit better. So, so that's uh, that's where we are. So let me move that around. Left is right, right is left, up is down, down is up. So I can also go micro with this. So I'll pause for a second and go micro. All right, there we go. So now we have a micro view of the watch itself. Um, so, and this is live as you can see. So this would uh, be ticking away and we're able to, you know, get a close up of a problem maybe and then see what that looks like on the watch. So that gives me a micro view and that flips to the general work area. I turn my light off again, but I'll make sure that that's, that's right because uh, I need the exposure to be correct on that. And again, I can change the lighting of that. I'm in OBS, the, uh, the uh, software I'm using so I'd have to go to my camera here and then configure that as well and I can do an auto brightness on that and do a contrast Let's see if we pick up the contrast a bit or turn that down a bit actually turn down the contrast 
and the saturation is there and under the camera control uh, focus and exposure I got on automatic uh, exposure I should probably have it on automatic so, so there we go that's a really good exposure there um, I want to be too exposed here but so that's uh, much better than it was before as you can see I just had to flip the exposure on that camera and again that's get gets my watch my service so and then when I go to this as well it holds the uh, the settings I had before um, so they're, they're constantly uh, uh, I change them one place and then the setting holds so this is pretty good so let me flip this watch around again so that's the uh, the Waltham and that's up close so just able to move the the camera a bit and just to get a better close-up of that so so that's the setup um, so again intro general work is like this um, close-up work so you can get really close on that right and when I want to get the e-timer going and again I got the uh, 60 Hertz lines happening here so when I when I give you a uh, when we do the timing I can have that backlight turned off so I won't get the 60 Hertz happening so the uh, these LED lights uh, I should probably just use candles, you know, be much better. So, uh, so anyway, again, um, I really appreciate comments on my on my YouTube uh, videos. If you have any um, requests for me to make a video on doing something, um, I've I've done a lot of videos on different techniques. Uh, I've actually made a crown on my lathe. Uh, I've made a few stems, not a lot of stems, but I've made a few. It's tricky, so when whenever I have to make another. Uh, uh, part or whatever I do a little research. Um, I also uh, uh, did a, re a book review recently, and I asked if you want me to review the uh, Maker's Guide to the Galaxy. Actually, if you want me to review the uh, the uh, what's it called Chicago School of Watchmaking book, let me grab that for a second. All right, that's this book right here. That's a big, big book. I'm telling you, it's loaded. So this book is uh, exceptional. It's got all kinds of Cool stuff in it, right? So, this is the uh, Chicago School of Watchmaking book that I just acquired, and and I acquired the Bulova one as well because I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. I've got some technique on that for uh, a shellacking jewels I got out of the Bulova one, I believe. And they both had sections on bead error, but the Bulova one was more comprehensive on setting bead error. Also, the Bulova one has uh, a better explanation on on how to how to set the banking pins. So if you've got an old watch, you're able to they, they rotate, and if you're able to set back, it tells you actually how to set them to the drop and things like this. So, so anyway, if you have any recommendations for videos that you want to want me to do, then by all means let me know, um, and I'll work on those. Um, and so for now, uh, I don't think I've got anything more to say. Uh, I don't have any more jokes. I did tell you the joke about the guy that got caught speeding, didn't I, earlier? It's a memory joke. So, yeah, he got caught speeding and the police officer said you realize you're going 105 uh, miles an hour he goes <laughs> he goes that's impossible and the cop says why he goes well i've only been driving for 15 minutes ah! so anyway uh <clears throat> so that's that's it so uh this is a new format so this afternoon i probably won't start any watches this afternoon because i gotta i gotta uh, play golf i gotta do some golfing today so um it's actually video golf so I'm cheating because up here in Canada we've got snow and cold. It's minus everything today. It's minus it's minus a thousand today in Canada. So so it's it's so cold, so cold. I saw that them chiseling a dog off a fire hydrant. That's how cold it is up here. It's so cold. I saw a, a lawyer walking down the street with his hands in his own pockets. That is cold. So we're giving up. We're giving up up here. It's way too cold. Um, we don't want to fight this battle. Even the Salvation Army has surrendered. It's so cold out. So, anyway, that's enough <laughs> humor for now. So, let me know if you like my channel, my new look, uh, and uh, this it makes it a little bit more, uh, probably more professional. Again, again, I don't do this for a living. But if you want to get a hold of me for any uh, any uh, watch work you're interested in me doing, we'll talk. Uh, just contact me at jdwatchservice at gmail.com. Um, and someday when I retire, I'll do this uh, full time. But for now, it's uh, weekends and, and whenever I got some time. So I have a full time day job that runs into the evening. So that's it. Thanks. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I noticed that my OBS software sometimes stutters. So when it stutters the video, it probably stutters the audio. And I'll just repeat what I have to say and, and hopefully it won't stutter. So, 
so that's that's it uh, so thanks for uh, watching this uh, short and really exciting video on my setup um, and I'll see you really soon